Scampia, a suburb of Naples. These high-rise buildings that became a symbol of the Camorra, the Neapolitan Mafia, are known as the Vele, sales in Italian. 30 years ago, more than 5,000 families lived in this crime-ridden housing project. Drug dealing, racketeering and prostitution were the daily life for a whole generation. Let's say here in the beginning it was also a little, let's say, fun to be able to play, for example, hide and seek, hiding behind. Davide Cerullo grew up in the Vele. In 1982 I came to live. It was still nice, it was still new. Then after four or five years already, for example, everything changed. Because heroin came, cocaine came, lashi came, and so everything changed. When he was 10, he was already running heroin packets for the dealers. At 14 years old, we earn 30 million liras a month, 900,000 liras a day. 14 years old, I got my first gun, and then yes, and then prison is the first time, when I was 16 years old. And so then when I was 16 and a half, 17 years old, I was bombed because I had become, for me, I was shot. I was 40 days in the hospital, my bones were broken, the Camorra. After several years in prison, Davide came back to live in the sales. But today, he has swapped his gun for a camera. His photos tell the story of daily life for the children in this lawless environment. Our two brothers playing shooting each other under the sky blue sail in Scampia. Today they are 19 and 21 years old and are pizza makers. Unfortunately, someone is in prison with significant convictions. Davide rejects the idea that living in the sales means your future is preordained. He has created a space in the heart of the district where children can come and play, read and learn. Since the decision was taken to demolish the sale, the local council has stopped maintaining the buildings. But 200 families still live here, like Aymen's. Who are you? Do I indebt myself today? Yes, did you go? Go, 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 it's raining. You slip, then be careful slowly. The Verle apartments are connected by walkways, a labyrinth which made life easy for the Camorra and all types of trafficking. In the sales, no one pays rent anymore. Let's go now. Here we are on the sixth floor. When an apartment gets too insalubrious, you just choose another one. So I in the green sail this one, it's eight years more or less. And then six months ago, they moved us from the green ones. And this one. And I say here, you are welcome. Okay, I'll close it. Over a few months. There you go. These are our homes. And making do with what he could find, Aymen completely renovated his apartment. This one is the bedroom, also made by me. There's always a touch of the old that, and here it is, I was saying, here we try to make it as, let's say, quiliente as possible, the house. Nobody here has electricity. Each home has to take the risk of hooking up to a general transformer. And yet, despite everything, Aymen feels at home. As you can see, not the sails. They still stand the sails. Okay? I hope they will be for a long, long, long time yet. 
because I have always found myself well, let's say in these veils here. And then look. Beautiful. Beautiful house. Over the last 10 years, 90% of the mafia families of Scampia have been put behind bars. The driving force behind the cleanup is Superintendent Salvatore Gambini. Now there are more guys, because all the big bosses, all the camorists have been arrested, either arrested or killed. So the profile of the real Camorras today has changed. Before, there was a Camorrista who ran the situation. There was one or one or more families who ran in an authoritarian manner. Today, this has failed. Today, there are more guys trying to climb the heights of the Camorra, trying to get there as quickly as possible. This somewhere creates enormous difficulties for us, because they are more uncontrolled and uncontrollable than what the Camorra used to be. They're known as baby bosses, often just teenagers. They use violence and murder to take control of the territories they claim as theirs. These new faces of the Camorra have little in the way of organization. This morning, in the police station of Scampia. Are you with you? Mm. Three, two, three, and Angela. Okay. okay. And then we catch up with you? No. Officers are preparing a surprise raid. Most of the police officers from Scampia speak the Neapolitan dialect. Several teams surround a building and move in simultaneously. They've caught a young dealer. The officers search for the hidden drugs and find them pretty quickly. Ten years ago, Scampia was the biggest supermarket for drugs in Europe, controlled by the big Camorra families. This graffiti shows that this building belonged to the Abinante family. But with the bosses in prison, it's the new generation that's in charge now. Has been a minor for 16 years. Ahish, marijuana is the proceeds of the sale. He's taken down to the police station where he'll be sent to juvenile court if he's a repeat offender and could be imprisoned. A Rolai prison on the outskirts of Naples is for underage offenders. There are 24 inmates. Tattooed, dressed in branded tracksuits, some are the children of imprisoned Camorra bosses. There's graffiti on the canteen wall. Gianni is clearly proud of his origins one of the sales in Scampia. Airola is already known as the baby boss prison. These range from simple theft to murder or attempted murder. The longest flood currently is 16 years. We are talking about a boy who is currently 18 years old. The Airola inmates can choose to stay until their 25th birthday, after which they are automatically transferred to an adult prison. In the heart of Scampia, opposite the police station, 
is Gianni Madaloni's judo gym. Open seven days a week. Children of the local police mix freely with children of the Mafia. There are many children who have parents who are in prison and can't pay or in separate marriages. And let's say that united together with other children with normal situations, they can only get better. And more than teaching them to fight, teaches them what the values of life are. Over the years, Gianni has won a lot of judo competitions, but it's off the tatami mat that he counts his greatest victories against the Camorra. Francesco started coming here when he was 12. Okay, sotto a muro. Cristiano, vieni al centro. Tutti quanti sotto a muro. His father and brothers are in prison with long-term sentences for drug trafficking. Tempted by the thing that so much money was going around, in Naples they do. But unfortunately, I met some people who helped me so much in my childhood to grow up right. Today to be in this club, which nonetheless won in the Olympics, as we see there are so many important medals, means that a hope is there even for those who grow up in an unfortunately deprived suburb. You can see what it is the authorities are hoping to achieve. By destroying the last remaining Veli tower blocks, they hope to erase the past. But what of those who still live there and have nowhere else to go? Ignore their future and Scampia's problems could be self-perpetuating. <laughs>